All right, welcome back, everybody. I actually don't think right, we're going to go put our lines in the water. I, we don't have enough time, most likely, to get that rough order done, but you never know. You never know. But this will give us a chance to kind of... I did finish the white bream order at winding before starting this new episode, so we're up to like 300 silver. So we can continue to get bait harvesting leveled, leveling everything, but also we're starting to starting to look seriously at um, when we are upgrading gear next and all that kind of thing. Um, Unfortunately, although the uh, sweet cream was working for white bream at winding, in my experience, it doesn't do super well at, at mosquito. All right, so we've got lines in the water now. I think I need to get some... Um, Sweet dough ingredients, some ground bait. All right, so for sweet dough, we need wheat flour. We'll just do three right now. We need wheat flour, milk. We might have milk and sugar. see what we're looking at here oh yeah we've got some milk left okay so we can make three of those and I'm wondering if we should try to make some of that uh, I think I'll hold off on we've got some different ground baits we can use for now I'm wondering if we should start trying to make some of that fake bream ground bait though it might help us a little bit on the white bream and I don't think the rough would mind it so could be worth trying I need to check hook sizes here on all these lines. All right, this is a 20, so that's fine. That is a white bream. I can't tell you how good that spot at, uh, at winding was. The main reason why I came back here is not really for these rough orders and everything, it's because we're about to unlock Semolina. That actually looks like a pretty nice rough. Yeah, that's a really nice rough. All right, so this is a, what size was that? That might be a little bigger than I usually use. Yeah, that was a 16, 16 on there. And that one's a 19. Okay, that's fine. We got some variety. Got some variety going on. That's a bream. There might be another fish on that first line yet, but we also may just not have. Ooh, 29.5. We're getting so close. Might not have closed it, but no, there is a fish on. Very good. Yeah, that's nice. Nice little white bream. I think there's a white bream and a small white bream and a large rough order right now so if we could hit some really good fishing here for a few minutes we might sneak one or two of those orders in i don't think we have any shot at the big white bream order but that's okay um all right let's make our sweet dough that's what we like to see Twenty nine point eight. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so now we're at thirty percent, which means we can make semolina. But before we start making semolina, 
we want to make that wheat grain. We did buy what two packs, three packs of I think two packs of wheat grain. And we want to make that first so we can still have a good chance of getting points for it. This seems like this still still is a good spot too. Uh, okay, so let's make wheat grain. We occasionally use wheat grain. Silent. Mmm. We didn't get points. How disappointing would that be if we had been relying on them? Alright, we got points at that time. 30.2. Alright, and that's all the wheat grain we can make. How much did that give us? I mean, if we ever start wanting to use it a lot for something, then we'll have to make more. But that gave us 128, so that's plenty for now. Just test it every once in a while. I feel like there's been times when Bream have kind of gone after it. Just It's kind of been weird. It's not consistently good, but it also doesn't get tried enough. So it's hard to say. Sorry, just trying to figure out which ground bait I want to use here. Frustration. Frustration nation. So yeah, we're at 315 silver. All right, so now we can make semolina. Is that the only thing we opened up? Yep. So we'll make a lot of semolina apparently. How much sweet dough do we have? It's arguable that we might want to make a little bit more sweet dough. We got 339. We are catching some nice rough. Wow. Oh, that's a white bream. That is a white bream. All right, let me get an update on where we are on these orders. Sounds like a bite, not just a little nibble. That white bream did come in on Paternoster.
That ro that roach just fell right off. It just it just fell off and hit the water and swam away. We had him up in the air when he fell. not gonna I mean we've <sighs> look how big that white 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 green water is all right so we can do that one right now but we can also probably wait and get it cheaper okay I mean if we really hit that rough order hard Two nights in a row, you can get it. I mean, I usually can get that one in two nights. But I'm not sure that's what we're doing. We definitely want to snag that white green mortar, though. Yeah. We can probably... By the end here, we'll probably be able to get it without... Uh, if this is another white bream, it'll be nice. Man, they are really starting to pick up here. That Paternoster is catching the big ones, by the way. Might be something to that. I don't know. 19 hook worms, and it's definitely getting the big ones. Let's get um, some semolina ingredients. We're not going to be there much longer, so let's go ahead and cash in two out of six, zero out of six. All right. Semolina milk sugar. All right, so let's do three more. So where's semolina? And then I think we've got enough milk, but get a couple more just to make sure. And then sugar we need. Might as well get t 10 of them. We're going to need them anyway. And what are our current hooks? One six, one eight, one twelve. Fancy 12. Okay.
And we want to go with this. And we're going to do eight. And we're going to eventually do semolina, but we haven't made it yet. So we'll do bread for now. And let's go, let's cross them. So we want to go eight. 12, Typically in this spot, semolina is really good at night. Not sure about the day, but we're about to test that. Uh, let's see here. All right, so let's do some crafting here. We should have 90 pieces of semolina now. That is a mighty nice crucian on just regular bread, but we're gonna try semolina. And we really want to do this in an overnight time, but it's just kind of the way it played out. It's fine. fish on the semolina is a crucian we should catch crucian and gibbles pretty much I actually don't know I mean roach might go for semolina too I have no idea
That's a nice gibble. There's a roach for you. So far seems pretty good, pretty good bite rate in the morning and a lot of markers. fatter.
Okay. It's working pretty good. So what we'll have to do is um, next time we'll have to set this up where we can start at like 5 p.m. and then go all the way to you know 10 a.m. I think that'll be sort of the the range we want to hit and really test semolina here. I think we've got a chance of getting some really nice ones before right before eve nighttime, and then some really ni nice ones overnight and in the early early morning. Uh, 322 Tour says, reminds me of Mud Runner, which I played moons ago in early access. Uh, talking about Snow Runner, yeah. Definitely is a direct descendant, almost like a sequel to Mud Runner, which Mud Runner was a sequel to Spin Tires back in the day. Fareed says, cool game. I think he was also talking about Snow Runner. It actually is a really cool game. I'm so enjoying it. Just like the open world sort of aspect, unlocking stuff. Great video, very informative. Thank you, Krastinos. I appreciate that. And that was about an RF4 video. Uh, how do you upload so much? You must be a god or something. Love the vids and upload rate. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I've uh, been fortunate. You know, with all this working at home stuff right now that's going on, I have been able to sort of weave into my daily schedule a pretty frequent upload schedule. I don't know that I'll always keep up this pace. I'm sure I won't always be able to keep up this pace, but I hope to be able to keep a decent pace going. Uh, call commented, want to be friends. Fareed says, seems like a new haircut. I can't go to the barber, still locked down. Yeah, we were able to sort of get into a special circumstance. My wife and I were, we were the only people, only two people at a place, um, a uh, hair person was able to work us in, sort of like in a home environment. It's kind of special circumstances, but was thankful to get uh, get a little bit of that hair cut off. It's getting a little heavy on the head. Yeah, see how the sizes have really dipped now. This is the time of the day where you don't necessarily want to be fishing here. The game is really good, but it's expensive. I was buying a rod... Wait, what? This is Florin Lunga. Says, watch the language, please, on in game chat as well as YouTube. Uh, spying a rod, Siberia is not working properly like I expected. I'll need some more information. I don't know what uh, what's wrong with it, but. Peppo says, can you make your voice 25% louder and game 25% more silent? Uh, yeah, I mean, the other thing is... The other thing is getting silent silent uh, beepers, which I, I may just send silent uh, fish notifiers from my main account to this account so that I can do that for you. That's a, that's a reasonable reasonable request thank you all for all the support um it's been really fun being able to interact with everyone and putting these these videos out all right let's i was trying to get one more fish here and then we'll wrap this up when was the last there it is okay
I'm really fascinated by this Paternoster rig on our middle rod. I'm not sure that it matters as much on like these Crucian gibbles, that kind of stuff. But with the white bream, with some of those other fish, I'm just curious how they respond to Paternoster versus basic bottom fishing. It may be that in some cases, since we don't have inline or loop rig opened up yet, it might make sense to use Paternoster on all of our rigs with some types of fishing. I mean, back in the day, you had to use Paternoster to, uh, to be able to use ground bait, right? Before they started letting you put cages on basic bottom. Which I'm glad they did. I mean, I think it makes sense if you want to be into feeder fishing to be able to start using ground bait in your rig from the very beginning. I think that's reasonable, but there still may be some value in Paternoster over basic bottom when using ground bait. Maybe we should do that for a couple episodes. Just go ahead and switch all three of our rigs to Paternoster. Again, I don't think it makes any difference on... It doesn't seem like it makes any difference on some fish like Crucian Gibble stuff, but... But... Um, that's 10 easy silver. But I could see it making a difference with other stuff. We're getting there on Roach. Halfway on rough. Am I going to try to hit that rough while I'm doing other stuff sitting here? How much silver is that worth? That's a 60 silver order. I probably will, even if I do it off. Uh, Alright, so how much silver is that? Another 50 silver. We've just had a couple of good episodes here. In terms of cafe orders and overall silver. I really think, though, that that spot... Um, that spot on winding for our level and our gear, like it's hard to beat the amount of silver we were making there, whether you get cafe orders or not, but especially with cafe orders. So we're starting to get to that point where, you know, you feel the weight of the silver in your pocket. And I'm starting to think like, what are we doing next? I mean, our biggest rod right now is Lacerti. 5.5 so we want to get one uh, I mean sort of the natural next point is like aiming for the 7 to uh, 7.5 kilo it's always a little bit tempting too to like try to jump up to the proton 6,000 level um, I don't know that we do that first though some of these do require level 14 proton does not um, and that's a lot of drag. That's a lot of power. It's just a really good reel. It's at a real reasonable price to jump to 8.5. Like we're halfway there with silver. It's kind of tempting. I mean, what's the other option? The Adriatica, the nice one's always sold out at low level. Now I think they've got it at Old Berg, but we're paying a little more for it at Old Berg. Believe it or not, this Hercules at seven kilo, I actually really like this reel. And you are talking about 200 silver cheaper uh, for a difference of one and a half kilo drag. It's a two and a half star reel. The downside of it is gonna be the spool size, right? Which does come into play at Old Berg. You know, so it's sort of the only drawback there. Um, Other popular reels, the Element Pro 4000. It's kind of worth considering. It's not my favorite. Uh, the Fishing Pride 6000 is, is obviously really good. I mean, it's only two stars, and you do have to be 14, but it's 7.5 kilo drag. I mean, it's very similar to the Adriatica, just uh, a little more expensive. I've even used the Dragon 40 before. Just depends on what kind of fish you're going for. Um, if I had to guess right now, I'd say we're saving for the Proton 6000. And, you know, just get like a 
Palmer maybe. I mean, something fairly inexpensive. Could also do the Fantasia. That's kind of what we're looking at. Okay. As always, thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.